Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to 3%, uh, but more of a race. More on that as we go. Are you ready, sir? Three, yep. two, one, go! So, unlike a regular fish percent, we're going to make oh, two distinct changes. Oh, this is an awesome start. One, our spoiler logs are open immediately. Two, as soon as we get either the fish or the power start, depending on game, we're going to go to the next seed in our list. So I need to get either to the Proving Meadows or Jambada and Kalanda. Proving Meadows... Oh, that's actually super easy, right? Because Proving Meadows are right next... Yeah, right there. Okay, so unfortunately I can't... I need to find something to use for money, <laughs> or else I'm actually not doing so well right now. Yeah, I'm That's a map. not in a great start myself. If I can get just a, if I can get a bit of gold here, I can have already won. <laughs> Is that just always going to be 10 silver? Here, right. Four swords! That's a bad sign, I think. Alright. I need to get more items somewhere. So that looks like. Oh, so no matter what, it requires Cooper. I need Cooper. Okay, so I have I 10 I silvers. So that's enough to do fish race at least. That's in the desert, so that's... Okay, but now I can't sell things. Right, I can't, I can't get those without jumping. Oh, really nice. <laughs> Victory music for fish race! Yeah, that's how the fish race feels. Oh, okay, that's not money. See, I, I don't know what I can do. That's also not money. Um. Because based on my spoiler log, like, okay. everything I need is, like, stuck in the desert. Oh god. And getting to the desert isn't going to exactly be easy. Yeah. Alright, so... I can see the fish available for sale for 11 gold. I can set a home point right next to the fish. But then otherwise, what else do I even have available? Nope, that's not it. Alright, let's warp to this shrine. This is spawn. <laughs> That's not money. Yeah, no, of course not. I'm getting so many items that are just not money. <laughs> There's camp, no salmon shack, I guess. Uh, 
no, no, no. I mean, maybe I should try skipping the mini game because that might give me a lot of money. Yeah. We're gonna try picking up some items next to the fish base. Seeds! Yeah, that, that requires me to get there, but I can't do that without... Come on, Chester, you should be good for money. Bandana, that's probably some silver. Dervish robe, that might be gold. Oh. Have I already effectively beaten the first the first seed? Should I go on over here? If the dervish robe wasn't enough, this Agus mail is. First, first fish acquired. Boom. Fish confirmed. With that, exit to title. Keep maps of field areas. Memorize a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. Memorize glove. Okay. Calisto Stone and Lands, and that's not going to be easy. Or the Eastern Chasm map in Eastern Chasm? Regions. Those are two very annoying to reach places. So basically, I'm going to need every teleportation stone. Oh my god, this whole time I thought I needed boots for that. Oh? Oh! <laughs> Nancy secret recipe, okay. Beyond a sea crab, so I need fish to get that. I'll get the flimsy rod from Delende, okay. And salmon Delende. Spawning meadows. You can do it. No, that's from a boss. Guy Stone Capital of Sequoia gives me the Callisto Stone. Maybe that leads me to Callisto Shrine. Who knows? Europa Shrine. Alright, so now all I need are a few. Money. Mm. Really? That's like nothing? Doesn't like have value? And I keep 
picking up more seeds, which don't sell. I'm starting to think purple chests are really bad for actual money. <laughs> Hello, polar bear. Can I sell any of my things now? I can sell the tonics I spawned in with. And potentially the equipment off my character's backs. But that would be about it. Are you kidding me? No, of course not. Diamond dagger, that will hopefully sell for some gold. The key. Vest, that might be something. Oh my gosh, this is actually a mob encounter I might be able to beat if I Wait wind up having to actually encounter it. Why am I going this way? I don't know why you do the things you do. Oh yeah, that's worth a piece of money. That's why. Oh, what'd you find? I knew I had a reason for heading this way, but I couldn't remember what it was. Alright, you're overshoyed. Do I win? No. But this is really nice. There's no stone. Do I win? No, I don't. <laughs> Any one of these warp stones could give me the, the game. Ah. Because I have to go on top of uh, Callisto Shrine. In order to get a fish. So if I happen to find the right stone that whoops me on top of Callisto Shrine, that's just it. Oh hey, contract loot, that helps. Shrine stone, but I need overpass scrap for it. Drat! Okay, okay. Nan secret recipe and spawning meadows. Delende, okay. Rolling Quintar fields. Oh, I can go up. Grab those like now. Neptune Shard. And 
just need to find where the silver is. Oh, hardy har har. Of course, this game it has a sense of irony. But of course. <laughs> I don't tend to do this tree hopping stuff very much, so I'm very much not used to it. All right, that's seed number one for me. Cool. Anyway, whatever. Let's see if this Neptune shard wins me in the game. No. So if I could somehow get up here, so if I had like an owl, I could do this. Where's the owl? Okay. I've looked up what the hour was in case I happened to work up to Dione Shrine. Whatever, grab another Neptune Shard. And head right into the courtyard. Oh, wait. Uh, trying to get up with Quintar is gonna be so annoying. The key is right up there. I know it's All possible, right. it's just annoying. Alright, let's take a look at the spoiler log for seed number two. The Quintar helped. Drum. Work to Neptune Shrine. Well, this one's going to be pretty easy, especially depending on where I start. Yep. Oh, hey, Lackluster. And fish. Done. C2 done. Wait, C2 done? Yeah. When did you finish your first seed? Like forever ago. And then I said it and you're like, ugh. And I'm like, okay. And I said oh. it a few times that I'd finished my first seed. Yeah, I was probably very frustrated with the fact that, you know, uh, my seed is terrible. My seed was kind of terrible. Yes. Keep maps in revealed areas only. Technically, don't have to actually really randomize all this stuff, but I am anyway. Square log, of course, on.
Gonna make sure I'm in. The good news is, is that this second seed is gonna be a lot faster. Shoto, my fish is in Shoto Province. All right, second star. Second seed, rather. Second seed done. Yep. Well, I guess we can both go on to seed three. Yep. So, the issue is, I don't know exactly what the Jiggling Lure is supposed to be. I just know that it's supposed to be in this general area around here. Y'all leave me alone. That's not great. So if I go... Oh. Oh, this would actually be kind of difficult to reach. Got like owl or something. The sign and shrine. Random chance if I get that. And then ancient labyrinth. Not doing that without Owl. <laughs> oh. I haven't even. Wow. Let me get sell. I could buy some penguins, I guess. Yeesh, how many times do I have to run away from this fight? Um, enough. Yeah, no, of course no one wants to fight me. Oh, well that... I'm not sure if this helps. Alright, where is this? Neptune Shrine. But the actual Jiggling Lore is now. So I need to get to the Poseidon Shrine, which would be fish racing, yeah, right. Alright, uh, star number three. Oh gosh. At least now I have the money. Oh, I found the watering can! Alright, I'm on seed four. Oh my gosh, okay, okay. Sand Shrine. Doesn't help, that doesn't help. I need to find warp stones, so... I need to get to the Dione Shrine to find this. 
But that has to be bought, so I'm not getting this. Go to the Quintar Sanctum for those. I'm not getting into yet. Get the eye. Buy the Merkel huh. Shards. Merkel Shards lead to here. Luxury Pass check. Heck no. Sour Pop Candy. I can buy Poseidon Shards though. And probably Mars Shards. I right, bought that. Not getting that, but I could get the Triton Shard for some cocoa. So that's three different shards I could get. There's actually four if I go to Triton. Five if I go to there. Alright, so in these stores down here. I can get actually quite a few. In theory. I got two. And what's the penguin? Potion pouch, whatever. Mercury shower. So the Poseidon shard leads to the Poseidon desert. To... I, mean, I guess if I find an owl, I can do this. <laughs> My shy leads to spawn. I think I'm too far into the game to do my skip. Nope, it leads to Mars. Mars leads to Mars. So I could just walk to the desert. Whoa. Okay, this was not a very steep path. Hey, uh, Claire. Ah! You got your fourth one? Yep. Yeah. Meanwhile, I've only- I've still only gotten two seeds done. Well, I only prepared five seeds, so, uh... I guess if I finish my fifth one, I win? <laughs> Unless I can also finish five within the time limit. Hey, very fast. That's not the worst thing. I already finished two. Okay. This might be a little trickier than the last one. Oh, good. In fact, there's a very limited number of things I'm able to get. Good. Well, I'm starting in the desert with Cooper and no boots or hammer. Hey, look, it's a Quintar Ocarina. Now, if only... I could do very well right now, if only. Alright. Okay, so I know... I need to get to the Quintar Sanctum, so I can't get those. 
Mercury shards I can absolutely get. The science shards. Don't need any more of those. Mars leads to Mars. Ganymede is underwater. I need some Nam's Cocoa from Spawning Meadow. I need to get to the Spawning Meadows. Don't think I can actually reach that from here. Or Nan's Secret Recipe. No, I can't get that either, so I can't get the Callistos. And Europa, Cold War, and the Shoulder Province. I mean, the big thing I need is the Owl Drum, and that's in Poseidon Shrine, which is Fish Race. So I don't. I either need Triton Stone or Poseidon Stone or Shard to get there. Old World Stone is Ancient Tablet B from the Salmon Bay, so I need Fish or Owl to get that. Actually, Epic Bell is Basement in the Underpass. So I basically need fish to get that. No, I don't think I can do this seed, actually. Oh. Trapped behind a boss or something? Uh, basically, I need Warp Stones. So my only actual answer is to... Okay, I technically have one more answer. It's just going to take, like, forever to try to do. Which is really annoying. If I just turned Hatchery on, I could just go and win already. So basically my answer is to walk out of town and go back to Spawning Meadows and hope that I can buy some Nan's Cocoa. Otherwise, go through the entire introductory area backwards until I can get a warp stone hope that I can warp to either Poseidon or Triton and then can just get owl from there that I need to then use to get fish Didn't it say something from Proving Meadows was here? Oh Spawning my god. Meadows. Jesus. Okay, this one might be one of the harder ones then. No, I just have to go through this whole area backwards. Oh, good. Take your time. Take a whole lot of time. Let me... It would definitely be faster to just boot up a new seed and do with that. Yeah. Oh, wait, can I even do this backwards? Do you want to bet that someone is like yelling at the screen being all like no you can just do this thing and that's how you can go back or <laughs> that'd be kind of funny ah it's like you can just warp to spawn the mars stone you said leads you to spawn except i was incorrect about that it doesn't lead to spawn it leads to mars <laughs> think I think this is the way out yes this is 
going to go here and then leave like this. If it turns out I could have gotten the fish check if I just, like, from the shrine I had spawned in, I'm gonna be so annoyed. I can understand that. I'm pretty sure I need to go to Owl to do that. Okay, so I'm around here, so I think I need to just make it back to the Nan's cottage. I should be able to at least get a new war. Oh, that help. That help. I have to go. All that. Okay. Mercury shards. Ah. I don't think I need to take a stop at Mercury Shine, but I'm gonna anyway because it's just a quick little detour. And at the very least, I can set checkpoint here as well. Aha, train shard. Yeah, crystal shard. I need secret herb, veggie, and meat. I'm not getting that. Neptune Stone! So, two new warp stones. Neptune Stone leads to. <gasps> Dione! This would be perfect if I had been Owl. Triton. Triton, Triton, Triton leads to. Dead. Triton is dead. <laughs> Train is absolutely dead. So what else do I need? Guy shard. So I either need to get to the Quintor Sanctum, which I can't reach without like a Quintor or something. The sun I can get Mars I got. Ganymede I got. Triton is dead. Callisto. I need the Triton. I need to get to Triton to get the Callisto Stone. Europa, technically I could find that in Shodu Province. Or the depths. <laughs> Dione, I need to go to Poseidon to get Dione. And Neptune, well, I got. <laughs> well, this one is in Salmon Bay. So it's like, ah. Uh... I've got warps, but that's all I've got to show for all of my time on this seed, so I think I'm giving up on this seed and doing a different seed. All of that time just flat lost. Because, oh my gosh, that seed just had to be the most annoying thing ever. I knew I should have given up on it a long time ago. <laughs> Keep maps in here, revealed areas.
Speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up. Hey, look, Land's End. I guess that was a map. Wait. The seed is already dead. Oh? I spawned on Land's End, and there's no way for me to leave. Really? Yeah. I don't have, like, an owl to fly away. I don't have a quintard to try to make jumps to leave. And even if I did have, like, a quintard or try to make the jumps on foot, there are, it's so, there are so many monsters there that you have to fight, and I don't have the stuff to fight them. Huh. Technically, there's one check you can, there are three checks that you can make. Two of them I found were dead. <laughs> I could have made the third one and it could have been like a warping shard. So technically I could have gone for that, but... Then I got hit by the boss and just decided, nope. <laughs> tall, tall heights, okay. So fish. Boss key and Brewer Rock. So if I can get in there, I got this. Or Northern Stretch map and Northern Stretch. Ugh. But the Owl Drum is a luxury pass, and no heckin' way I'm doing that, so I'm not getting boss key. Northern Stretch from Northern Stretch. It's so funny having this be your first blooper. In Paper Mario. The one that you... That's normally the third one. That was an interesting sound. Where is the northern stretch? Oh. No! Heckin' no! I can't get there without, like, Owl. And there's no heckin' way I'm getting Owl in this seed because I'm not going to go and find 15 crystals for this. No! Like, one effectively dead seed, then, like, an actually dead seed, and then an even more dead seed than the effectively dead seed. So, as I recall, we're still at two to four. I just need, like, two really super easy seeds. Okay, Poseidon Shrine. This is bound to be easy. Salmon River map in Salmon River. Or, the, or a map in the Proving Meadows. Where is the Salmon River map in Salmon River? Okay, uh... No, duh, obviously, no. Okay, so this is a really stupid easy seed. I spawn in next to the salmon shack, and right next to the fish race is a fish. <laughs> you walk into the fish race, you check out the chest, it's a fish. So that's three seeds done. Cool. And I'm understanding that I could just keep resetting until I get easy seed, easy seed, easy seed. So I'm really trying to give, like, an effort to them. But if the seed is dead or basically dead, I'm not going to waste, like, 20 minutes on a seed that I already know is hopeless. Agreed. But, oh my gosh, that was... That one was stupid easy. I didn't even have to look up where the map was. I would have just done exactly that anyway. I shouldn't have looked it up. So, three to four. Okay. 
And I have a cake. Excellent. So I have Mercury Shine. Yeah, because I could always just like keep reloading till I start Fish Race. Boomer Society map. If I could do Fish Race, I could do Boomer Society. How do I get to there? Okay, so Owl is gone. Oh. Drag Demon Horn. So Quintar Flute is gone. Quintar Arena does nothing. I back Bell technically. Oh, gosh. So I have to go up to the city. I think all I need is to get into the city. Unfortunately. I don't know if there's no Ganymede Shrine from Ganymede Shrine now. In jail? No. The salmon from Delende, so I could buy a Poseidon Shard. Go all the way over there and buy one Poseidon Shard. That's a no, that's a no. Really? Yeah. So the only... The only... I, there is one check that I can possibly make here. <laughs> and I have to go a heckin' long way to get it. <laughs> but I can technically make one check that can try to lead me towards the fish. So I'm going for it. Turns out this also. You have got to be kidding me! I got a shard and it warped me to spawn. <laughs> I'm even further away from my goal now than when I started. Oh crap. Based on that damage, what's everyone's health? Kill me. Well, so if I had yeah. started at spawn, I'd be able to. Yeah. If I'd started at spawn, I'd be able to desert skip. Damn it. So the observant people watching will have noticed that I found mine. Ah, uh, now I've collected it. Oh, you got That's yours? Five okay, well, I've done three, so I have 12 minutes to try to finish off this one, which probably won't happen. Frankly, all I need is to get into Fish Race, or all I really need is to get back to the city. <laughs> If I can get to the city, I win. Well, you know, I can beat this. But is there 12 minutes left? <laughs> Do you want to try to uh, make another seed? To no, try to go for what six? I am going to do is... What I am going to do is try to get my second one in this one. It's not going to give bonus points. I know. Right. It just makes it so that it's not just your screen. Yes. Summoners want that. It's not money. So, fun fact. A couple of fun facts. Uh, I'm not going to have the hammer in this final seed at all, fun. but a more interesting fun fact, wait, do I have bow? I don't have bow. Where's bow? Yeah. 
Yeah, let's buy you a special fish. Which is a Poseidon shard. So, is this seed dead? Uh, not dead yet. Strictly speaking, not dead yet. <laughs> oh. Okay, this is hilarious. I'm like, oh no, I'm at Green Station, but I can't get past the the conveyor belt section without Bo. What can I? Where can I find Bo? Uh, yeah, you get Bo with um the frying pan, which was literally sitting right in front of the mesh. The dungeon mesh. Dun dungeon meshy? Yes, that was the joke. So now I need to get back to Desert Village. So yeah. I had to go all the way up to like the fish sanctuary, whatever. Buy the rotten salmon, which walks me to the desert, so now I can walk to the desert village. And see if I can get anything from here that could be useful. Actually, yeah, I could totally just... Alright. Okay, whatever. That's all right now. No. No, no. No. Um, no. There should not be any warp stones. So this is actually dead seed. Wait. Yeah, this is, like, actually dead seed. Oh. I can't get any more warp stones. I can't get to the city. Unless I, you know, get three job crystals, blah, 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 but those yeah, are yeah. really hard to do without fighting. And then basically just go the vanilla path up all the way up, which basically dead seed. Um, well, I could go get my second star now if I make my way to Goomba Village. But, yeah, uh, what, seven, six and a half minutes? So I, I can do six it. Six and a half minutes to start and complete two seeds so you can technically tie. And I got either Vanilla Spawn or Mars Spawn. Is this Vanilla? I think this is Vanilla Spawn. Yep. DDI, wow. Okay. Alright, well, I did it. Castle Ramparts map or a Cerulean Book from the Depths. Cerulean Book from the Depths, don't think I can get that in Fish Race, so basically have to get to the Castle Ramparts map, which means I need Owl, which means I need to go to the Capital Pipeline, which means I need Fish. So, Dead Seed. Yeah, I, I think it's probably safe to say you're you're done. I I still got a few minutes. I still have like five and a half minutes. If every seed is either dead or easy, I've got I've got it going good. Wasting twenty minutes on that dead seed really didn't help.
What is this? Total Heights, no, or Viridian Bulk from. Oh my gosh, those are both horrible tracks. And the Jiggling War. So Owl Drum is basically Owl Lock. If I can get to there, I can do that. Then if I go there, I can get this. Oh god. The worst part is this is technically not dead, huh? Right? I can get Gaia Shards around here somewhere, so... Can't really get Nine Secret Recipe, though. Kind of made Stone is Vanilla and Callisto Shard. I still don't think you're supposed to be able to get Callisto Shards anyway. So anyway, yeah, technically not a dead seed from what I know yet, but it's definitely going to take more than five minutes. So three to five looks like you win. Looks like these seeds are not properly balanced with the uh, open spoiler logs after all. Is there anything you'd like to say before we end this off? Meow. I mean, if you insist.